Hello and welcome to WMKC TV of me, Chris McCarthy. The penultimate race of the day and always, always one I look forward to, the Rotax Max Final. Oh, and there was a problem there. One of the carts, oh, it's got going again. That's good to see. Uh, so yeah, the Rotax Max Final here at the Wilton Mill Circuit in Northampton. And you can see in Daventry rather, just near Northampton. And on pole position, again, is Danny Russell. So ma making a habit of being on pole, isn't he? Uh, so Danny Russell will be on pole. Rob Guilford alongside him in second. I did a, a great, um, a great uh, qualifying for Toby Payne, who starts third. A welcome back to Josh Bodley, who hasn't been at the circuit for a while, but he starts from fourth position. On the third row, we have Wood and Turner. So it's sure to be a cracker this Rotax Max final. 25 of them entered. Look, really looking forward to this. See Bobby Neal there towards the back. Uh, look forward for him. Look out for him and Kieran Gifford coming through. Both very quick drivers. So here we go. Will we get a first-time start? Danny Russell leading them round. They should be coming into shot any second now. Here they come. So will we get away first time? Looks like a nice and even start. And the lights go out and we do. Danny Russell there jumping in the seat. He's had a good start. And oh no, Danny Russell spun. So Danny Russell spins. Bodley's gone off. Uh, a couple other drivers going off. So we now have a big gap. Rob Guilford, Toby Payne and Daniel Wood. Uh, uh, gone coming up the hill just trying to see if Danny Russell's got going again and if he was collected if, if anyone collected him I think that's Kieran Gifford in the top of the shot stopping the top of the hill now I think we have the red flags yes we do so oh that's probably something to do with that incident at turn two I just hope it's nothing too serious I hope that Danny Russell is okay I'm not too sure who else got caught up in that I think uh, Charlie Turner may have been caught up in that. I can't see him there. Kieran Gifford was certainly caught up in it. And um, so the drivers will be stopped and we will have a, a full restart. I wonder if Danny Russell and Gifford and Turner can take this, uh, can get go going again. I'm not too sure how major their issues were. So there's Danny Russell there in the background. So he's coming up. So it looks like he will be rejoining this race. Kieran Gifford there. He looks like he's also may rejoin this race. Here comes Russell now. Ooh, nearly run Gifford over there. And so he should take pole. Or, or does he? Well, he's. I think that's even confused the marshals. Danny Russell driven straight on. So maybe he has too much damage or is trying to get that car fixed. So Danny Russell not going to be taken to the restart. So in that case, we now have a... We're going to have, an, I believe, Charlie Turner also not going to be able to take and restart. So the new grid will look like this. Rob Guilford will be pole. Toby Payne will be second. Josh Bodley will start third. Daniel Wood will start fourth. Char um, and then everyone from sixth place back move forward to position. So, uh, oh, and we got oh Guy Perry there giving us a wave. I think that's Bobby Neal also there in the back. Hello to you as well seeing themselves on the camera. So everyone from sixth place back now moves forward two positions. So Gibbs starts from fifth. Guy Perry giving us a wave there starts from sixth place. Sam Smelt will start from seventh. Jake Sturt will start from eighth. So I believe we will get one warm-up lap here to get some heat into these tyres. These Rotax Max do take a good lap or so. Yep, so they're going to get a lap to go round. I wonder if that will be the full circuit or the cut through. We'll find out. I think that will be a be the full circuit. So all the drivers there. Gifford there, that's good to see him taking the restart. Very quick driver. Do expect him to be moving through the field. So, oh well, that's a, a real shame there for Danny Russell. Took two wins in the heats in the 14th. Pulled it, and I'm not too sure what happened to him at the start there. He got a great start. Was certainly leading coming into turn one, and looked like he just clipped the curb too hard. He, he certainly gave it a, a certainly, a, put oh, two wheels well over it looked like he just cast, uh, just lifted up in the air and he was uh, spun uh, spun round on his own and then with 24 other carts coming in behind him someone was just sure to collect him and I believe Turner was the man who done that so shame for Charlie Turner as well uh, that he couldn't take the restart it's the second time this year that he's came to grief before the start of the race but here we go this is given Guildford Guilford would have been disappointed as he'd got a massive lead out of that. But here we go for the second start now to this race. 
Do we get away first time? Yes, we do. So Guildford now leads into turn one. He's made a great start. Toby Payne struggled from the outside of row one there. Sam Smolt looks like he's gone around the outside of him as we come up the hill now. Guildford defends. He's got Josh Bodley all over the back of him with Gibbs in just behind. Smelt in. Did we get all get through turn three safely? I believe we do. There was Guy Perry running over the grass there. Um, likes of Wood was getting stuck behind him there. So we've got the top four. Uh, have a slight gap here to the rest. There's Guildford there in the lead. As we come into Chapman's at Bodley there in second. Uh, Smelt makes a move there. So straight up the inside of Connor Gibbs. So Smelt, he's, he's done well out of all of this. He was a, due to start ninth. Now started seventh. Inside row got away well. And now he finds himself in third before the first lap's even finished. So great driving there by Sam Smelt. We have K uh, Kalaski there in fifth. Guy Perry in sixth. Toby Payne all the way back in seventh place. So he really struggled at the start. There's G uh, Gifford there who's trying to make up some positions in the middle of the order. So he, oh, he made a terrible start to Toby Payne. Um, may have just been caught out uh, by the fast starting Guildford. Bobby Neal, he's going to have Bobby Neal any second now all over the back of him as well, who's also had a struggle at the start here and started, was, uh, started in 13th place on the restart. So let's see how he gets on. But the front three here have broken away. So Guildford... Bodley and Smelt have broken away. Gibbs is struggling to keep up with the fast pace set by these guys. It's fair to say the more experienced guys, especially maybe not so much in Bod uh, Josh Bodley, but certainly in Rob Guildford. Gibbs just moving up to the class this season from the Junior Max class. Uh, Bodley there, welcome back to him, like I was saying. Hasn't raced here for a while, but in that new uh, OK1 chassis, doing a very good job. Uh, he's got Smelt all over the back of him, though, who dives towards the inside. Great piece of driving there by Sam Smelt. Uh, so he's now into second place. He's going to be going after Guildford. Sam Smelt, very quick driver, has just never had the luck around this track. Uh, Kalaski there, making a move on Gibbs, who's dropping like a, a proverbial stone, isn't he? Lo already lost a place to Guy Perry and now to Kalaski. Uh, so we'll see if he can start to recover from the poor start that he's had. But yeah, Sam Smelt, very quick driver. We'll see. I'm, I'm, uh, I know he is entered to do the first round of the Euro Max in a couple of weeks' time at Genk. So see how he gets on there. I believe he'll be doing Super 1 as well. So see how he gets on this season. Very quick driver. Just needs to uh, sort his racecraft out a little bit more before I'm sure he will be challenging at the front, even at national competition. So uh, this is the best place to do it. With the likes of Guildford and Bodley, Guy Perry, all quick drivers. So... And look, look at Guy Perry absolutely flying there in fourth position. He's really catching up to the back of these drivers. Uh, so this is now going to be another, another four. Uh, this, this group of three will now be made into a group of four once Guy Perry catches up to the back of them. Got Toby Payne and just behind Connor Gibbs there. Will he be making up a place to come up the hill now? Will we see Sam Smelt go towards the inside? Guildford defence. Sam Smelt now looks to the outside, but he's also got Josh Bodley to worry about. This race really starting the hot up now, isn't it? So, four for the lead. Uh, we're only halfway through. So, Sam Smelt, though, dives up to the inside. Pe Guy Perry's also made a move. So, two moves uh, in the same corner there. Smelt making the move for the lead and Guy Perry making the move for third. As we see the top four now all really close together. And fifth, Kalaski will be gr uh, grinning under that helmet, I'm sure as he will be trying to catch up. This guy Perry now makes a move for second. Oh, that was a great move there, but Bodley's come up the inside of the pair of them as he can't quite make it. So Perry now into second. Josh Bodley is now into third place. And now Kaleski is right onto the back of these guys. Gibbs there starting to recover now. Joining, also joining onto the back of this fight. All of that, though, is giving Sam Smelt a massive lead. A lead of about a second, maybe a second or so, a good second or so. What can Perry do about that? It's Bodley there in third place. Pulaski, Gibbs, Neil. I, I, I believe Neil is just in behind these. Yes, he is. There he is there. Of course, took round one victory. There's a move there from Daniel O'Byrne on Toby Payne, who continues to drop down through the field. Toby Payne, one of the older drivers. I'm sure he won't mind me saying that. Uh, but it's given some of these youngsters a run for their money, isn't he? Especially the likes of Daniel O'Byrne, who's just moved up to the class. It's Daniel Wood there. Last year's junior champion, just in behind Guy Perry, uh, in behind Bobby Neal, sorry. It's Guy Perry now in second place. Yeah, flapping very, very fast, actually. It's Guy Perry. 45 threes he is doing, which is 
very similar, maybe just a couple hundreds quicker than Sam Smelt. So he's going to have a tough task of catching up Sam Smelt. So let's have a look back now. This battle between O'Byrne, Sturt is also in there behind Payne. Um, and we see him coming forward. The 83 car also in there. Uh, Craig Mooney. And see here, the battle for sec uh, second place continues to develop. Bobby Neal, will he, sure we'll see him start to make some positions up soon. There's Guy Perry now coming up the hill. Sam Smelt doing a great job out in front at the moment. Hasn't made any mistakes so far. He was very good on the brakes going in there, wasn't he? Uh, he's going to have to get used to the front brakes when he goes and race out in Europe. Uh, of course, all European competition in the senior class do run with front brakes. So I wonder how he will get on with that transition. I'm sure we'll find out. The Super 1, as I've been mentioning in the other classes, the MSA Super 1 is next week. The Rotex Super 1 isn't till the end of next month. So I believe it may even be the same weekend as our next Stars at Wilton Mill meeting. So a few of these drivers uh, from the, the class, such as Sam Smelt, Josh Bodley, I believe. I'm not too sure if Guildford's looking at doing national competition or Bobby Neal. I'm not sure if their funds will allow them to do so. But um, certainly, I think Josh Bodley, Guy Perry, maybe, and Sam Smelt, I'm sure. I think they will all, should, will, will be featuring there. So we may see them missing next month. Um, also, in Mini Max and Junior Max, we will see drivers missing and Honda Cadet as well. Uh, so, yeah. And there's Bobby Neal now right on the back of Connor Gibbs as we come into the boot. But he's also got Daniel Wood to worry about in just behind him. So, a really interesting battle there developing. Come now, Sam Smelt still leads. Uh, Perry second. As we can see, I think Daniel Wood, I think they've both passed him. Yes, they have. So, they both passed Connor Gibbs. Uh, that must have been into the second part of the boot. Didn't look close enough down the street. See, Bobby Nogue's giving them the push signal there. Neil, a very experienced driver now, at club level especially. He's won some, won a championship or two in his time, I believe. And the Anglian Cup as well. Uh, 2012 won the Anglian Trophy. Um, I was competing in that myself. And yeah, probably no. Great driver. Great to race against as well. He's a great guy. Uh, very well liked around the paddock. So racing for the MLC motorsport uh, team. Run by Lee Murray, former driver himself. And he's got a great setup there. Like the guy Perry also runs with them. Josh Hatton won the championship with them in 2012. So, yeah, a bunch of guys they got down there. And let's concentrate now back on this battle for second because Kalaski has been well and truly dropped. Any chance of him uh, joining this battle has gone, really. So, Smelt still leaves, and we've got Perry, Bodley, and uh, Guildford. Now, who's going to be taking, who's going to be missing out on a podium because there's only going to be two spots left if they cannot catch on to the back of Smelt? So who's it going to be that misses out? Wouldn't like to wouldn't like to put money on it, would you? Could be any one of these drivers who take podium positions. Got a back marker there coming up. It's the 95 of Brad Diaz. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Come up the hill now. Josh Bodley looks like he's got the run. Perry now starts to worry about Bodley, but yellow flag, so didn't have to defend there. So as we come to the business end of things now, Perry will just start to be getting more concerned I think he knows that he does not have the pace to catch Smelt and defends, Bodley looks to do the switch back but now Guildford's come up the inside of the pair of them, the three across into turn seven uh, but Perry manages to hold on Guildford goes through into third place Bodley's still there in fourth place uh, Perry's still defending he's, uh, he's really uh, set wants to settle for this second place now doesn't he so will we see any more changes, Bodley looks like he's got the run for third there and he takes through that third so Perry, that's going to give him a bit of breathing space. Won't need to defend going up the hill this time. Uh, so now that's just brought Kalaski all of a sudden back into play. So you can see how quickly things can change in karting, especially here at Wilton Mill. As I've been mentioning, not many straights, just corner after corner after corner. So when you start defending, you find you're defending constantly because there's no, nowhere to really uh, have a rest. And that just means... Once you start defending, things can just change very quickly. The time you lose from defending uh, can be uh, quite significant. You see Wood there all over the back. It's good to see Diaz getting out of the, getting out of the way politely there. And uh, he's all over the back of Kalaski. And what's happened to Guildford? He's slowing up here all of a sudden. 
I wonder if he's got a problem. I'm not sure he has. Oh, that's a bit strange. I thought he may have flicked a chain or something as he came out of the boot there. Seemed to slow down very quickly. Uh, but it's got it going again. So strange instant there. He has a look. Daniel Wood now makes a move on Kalaski uh, for fifth position. So great driving there by Wood. So now let's spread things out slightly at the front where we did have a three-way battle for second. Things look a bit more settled now. Perry still has Bodley right uh, just in behind, but only a few laps to go. As Guilford now defends coming into turn eight. Wood all over the back of him, but Wood makes a slight mistake there. Just gives Guilford just a little bit of breathing space. Kalaski now nil, making a move on his teammate. And does he make that move stick? I believe so. And as we start the last lap now, so only a lap to go for Sam Smelt. Haven't seen a lot of him in the second half of this race because look at the gap he's got. About three seconds it is to uh, Guy Perry there in second. There's Josh Bodley. I think them two will be safe in their positions. So the battle for fourth it is who's the, uh, the main battle on track. There's O'Burn. He was running well earlier on. What's happened to him? All of a sudden he's being lapped. I think Bobby Nill's also gone missing as well. So there must have been an incident uh, somewhere. Yellow flags out. So maybe been a, some contact there. So here's Smelt. Guy Perry looks comfortable in second. But here's the battle for fourth. They're side by side. Guilford and Wood. As Guilford goes through. He, will he be able to do the switch back? Guilford puts his cart in the right place. As Smelt takes victory. Guy Perry takes second. Bodley third. Guilford takes fourth. Wood takes fifth, Kalaski sixth, Toby Payne seventh, and it was the 83 who finished in of Craig Mooney who finished in seventh place. But post race, uh, Guy Perry was excluded for being underweight. So, well, it couldn't have been a, a lot in it. So Guy Perry excluded from the result. That's a real shame, really. Uh, dro drove a fantastic race. So that changes the order now. So Sam Smolt uh, still takes victory and deservingly so Josh Bodley now moves up to second Guilford third uh, Wood finishes in fourth place Kalaski fifth Toby Payne sixth Mooney seventh Sturt in eighth Marcus Pett in ninth and David Wright in tenth place so well, great great uh, Rotax Max final there well done to Sound Smelt good luck to him in Genk and good luck to uh, him at Super 1 and everyone else competing we will keep an eye on how they all get on well done to Josh Bodley on his return for second and Guilford, the very consistent driver, always up the front. So that's going to be interesting to see how this championship goes on. Any one of five or six drivers could take it. You can follow it all here on WMKC TV. Uh, the next race on track is the final race for round three, the Honda Cadet final.